Christmas. And the Christmas spirit is in full swing. Jingle Bell Rock is playing on an endless loop. We've replaced all our bottles of water with eggnog. The giant motion sensing Santa startles us every time we walk into the bathroom. Santa's Death Armada. That's it, I'm turning back. <laughs> I know your family's waiting. No, I said my ass is aching. I know it's an important day. No, I said Paul Lind was gay. I'll get you back there in time, pal. Trust me. That's great, because I got a job interview with Lando I really need to get to. Now, so I'll run that Imperial garbage scow now. I'm going to light speed. No, light speed gives me gas. That's the spirit. You'll be celebrating Life Day before you know it. Stand by. Here's what say goodbye to our unpleasant fruit. Life Day? What, did the ACLU sue the Rebel Alliance out of the Christmas? <laughs> It's not scrolling at an unpleasant angle. I can't read it. The Star Wars <laughs> wow. Holiday Special. Just in time for Life Day. Starring Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker. And no, he's not a girl. Harrison Ford as Han Solo. I shot first. You got that? Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia. Sorry about Drop Dead Fred, okay? With Anthony Daniels as C-3PO. Oh, man, it's so hot. Oh. Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca. Oh, God, you think you're hot? I'm sucking from death. R2-D2 as R2-D2. Uh, beep and stuff. And James Earl Jones as the voice of Darth Vader. So, what's this? Do I do the baseball speech again? No, no, you're, <laughs> you're the big black Introducing thing. Chewbacca's family. And many a scream-yourself-awake nightmares. <laughs> His wife, Mala. She's from Walla Walla. His father, Itchy. Named after his many weeping skin lesions. His son, Lumpy. Played without makeup by singer Paul Williams. <laughs> Beatrice Arthur. And her famous erotic fan dance. Art Carney. As Beatrice Arthur. Diane Carroll. Dr. Seuss character threw up on her head. The Jefferson Starship. Wait, there was a different incarnation of them before they were Starship? Harvey Corman. And his brother, Navy Corman. Oh. Sorry. Star Wars story on the Star Wars Holiday Special to serve people. On the Star Wars Holiday Special. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> let's watch. Edgar Winter's looking old. Is there Wookie Riddlin? Wow. Even in Modesto, is there really enough pot around to make this thing happen? Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Itchy, the lovable, threatening, deformed mutant hell dog. <laughs> well, it's fairly obvious now why Chewbacca volunteers for long tours away from home. <laughs> Say, petrified hut droppings. Mmm. And to think, Mala used to be the head of the Kashyyyk chapter of now. Please cut away, please, yeah, please. please. No, I don't want to. Thank you. <sighs> My beloved brother. Uh, husband. Husband, whatever, it doesn't matter. There, there, if he's dead, we can still celebrate Life Day. We'll just call it Death Day. <laughs> Looks like an Olsen twin who really let herself go. Grandpa, 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 I just killed an Ewok. Very good, son. <laughs> <laughs> Kids part garbage disposal. <laughs> oh, please don't play the Star Wars theme on your accordion again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was inevitable. Someday I knew the moment would come when I'd have to gouge my own eyes out. This is it. No, Bill, stay your hand. There'll be plenty of other moments coming up. Be ashamed to let those go to waste. Well, good point. <laughs> <laughs> Wookiees love this. I like his single leather boot there, too. <laughs> It's the very same scene that is playing on a constant loop in Ryan Seacrest's brain. Yeah. <laughs> that explains the smile, doesn't yeah. it? Elton John would give everything he owned if this were only a real device. 
Even Rip Taylor thinks this goes way overboard on the camp. Wow. Wow. I would have loved to have been there the day this guy told all the other Keebler elves what he really wanted to do with his life. <laughs> now, seriously? <laughs> If I watch any more of this, am I going to get a letter in the mail informing me that I'm now legally gay? <laughs> yes. You know, it'd be a pretty funny joke to play this music in the background if you knew someone was about to ask for your hand in marriage. Rebecca, my dearest love, would you... <laughs> kind of kill the moment. <laughs> I hate to say it, because I know this is all in the up and up, but it almost seems kind of weird. Oh, you know? I'm not picking do, that up. Do you think so? Look, would you and Bryce just move to Palm Springs? And that was the introduction, folks. Now let's get on with the show. <laughs> Would you turn off that stupid video game? Not a video game, Bob. It's a video game system. <sighs> ah, it's time for the traditional life day screening of Eraserhead. <laughs> well, suppose I'll go bark at the neighbor for a few hours. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. No more to look. It's Chewbacca's family. <laughs> What I meant to say is run, it's Chewbacca's family. Hello, Mala. Did she? I love Chewbacca? Is he binge drinking again? <laughs> or how about not at all? <laughs> Grandpa absolutely hates that kid. Not now, R2. I bet now Luke wishes he had paid extra for that call blocking feature. Oh, wait a minute. I don't like the looks of this. Let me get this fixed. It's my new robot poisoner. Or two. You're supposed to be watching that. And you're supposed to not be dressed up as an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Did we interrupt him in the middle of a kabuki play? What's with the makeup? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about Chewbacca. I know him and he hasn't missed a life day yet, right? He's probably just with his other family. No, don't not this one either. Come on, Mala. Let's see a little smile. Are you sure? Because we smile with our butt cheeks, you know. There, that's better. Try to enjoy your life day. She's beautiful. <laughs> we might have a... <laughs> well, that gives you just an inkling of the kind of pot smoke cloud that hovered around Lucas's head during the making of this thing. <laughs> Disco stew. <laughs> This goes to his odd gunny now. As you can see, I've got just about everything a man or Wookiee would want. Wookiee shampoo, Wookiee tampons. Just a groomer. A groomer. Just a groomer, you say? Evil Ned Flanders disapproves. Just the thing to keep you squeaky clean. I use one of these all the time. I eat my mustache. Really? Well, not all the time, but some of the time. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. Good comeback. <laughs> hey, it's Chad. He said he'd never work with me again. <laughs> it's Kenner's new trail tracker. <laughs> It'll be fun for approximately 3.7 seconds. <laughs> Even a wavy line. Not a wavy line. Dear God, you're insane. Craziness. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, it's established already. <laughs> Establishing the hell out of it. Oh, oh, I've got a pretty good collection of ritual knives here. <laughs> oh, I just pulled the granddaddy of all hairballs out of the sink. Whew. What the hell are you gonna do, huh? <laughs> Jeez. Well, in my opinion, this is Gino Vanelli's finest role. Oh, Rosie O'Donnell did get her MSNBC show after all. Fuck. Hello. 
I'm going to be using the tenderest cut of the bantha, the loin. You know, sure, this makes me want to drive a masonry chisel into my kneecap, but on the bright side, at least it's not Rachel Ray. That's true. I would suggest then that old popular holiday favorite, the bantha rump. <laughs> so would Elton John. It takes a special kind of man to eat raw bantha loin. Yeah, Elton John. Would you please? <laughs> But only you know the size of a bite in your family, eh? There aren't enough rim shots in the world to make that joke funny. We also have to beat. So, it's beat, 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 stir, whip, stir, Beat, beat, whip, beat, stir, whip. Beat, a phrase beat, heard all too often around Sir Elton John's house. <laughs> all right, what is it with you? Look, I'm sorry. Not too long ago, I accidentally heard Island Girls, so I'm just lashing out, I guess. Ah, well, that makes complete sense. Lash away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why don't I always think that taking you home for life day is going to be easy? Ah, blowing out your crystal skull bong, it has been. <laughs> it's strong. My beloved uncle. Husband? Uh, husband. <laughs> hey, it's the curly alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Attention, all viewers. Something CBS was never able to obtain. <laughs> Due to suspected rebel activity on the Kazook planet, the Empire has Kazook? Kazook. It's me, John Dan. <laughs> but you probably know me as Puff Daddy. <laughs> hey, it's Grandma. I made it through the Imperial Patrol tonight. Ah, Satan, how are you? <laughs> if I made it, Chewie and Hanwell. Is this all a big hello I get? I'm sorry, it's just that we hate you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Special short stuff. You want it? You got it. Happy life, Jack. It's a tick bath, a tick collar, tick spray, and Lyme disease antibiotic. <laughs> Not enough tongue for my taste, but it'll do. <laughs> it's a... Uh... <laughs> It's a unique idea watching a farm animal open a present. <laughs> Not sure I'd build a whole show around it, but it is unique. <laughs> <laughs> ah, crap. It's all his old copies of TV Guide. A lame o. Now then, Itchy. I thought you might like this. It's one of those that. Uh, well, it's a real. It's kind of hard to explain. It's a. Uh, wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, so it's heroin then. <laughs> It was a risky thing to make a TV show that could only be enjoyed if your entire audience was as high as you were when you made it. <laughs> this segment guest directed by Dr. Timothy Leary. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Some, uh, some rags are flying at me, mm -hmm. so I got that going for me. Mm -hmm. You do. I am found in your eyes only. I exist for you. I am in your mind as you create me. Oh, yes. I can feel my creation. Oh, please, not on life day. I'm getting your message. Oh, come on, we're just about to go to church. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you a secret. I find you adorable. Hmm. Doesn't seem like a Phoebe Cates getting out of the pool rewind moment to me. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah. There aren't enough hot showers on the planet to make me feel clean again. Your fantasy. Interspecies sex fantasies just in time for the holidays. Thanks, George Lucas. Line? I, I, I forget. <laughs> Reality just squeezed this minute? That's what I heard. <laughs> me too. Is, is that her vocal coach standing behind her? <laughs> hey, you're singing too much from the back of your throat. <laughs> Never eat anything more? It's not a promise to make to your true love. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, here come the black helicopters. <laughs> I have made the connection. You may speak now if you wish. Mala, it's so good to see you. Happy life day. My corns hurt. <laughs> Mala, are, are you alone? My corns! My corns! <laughs> Better land on the north side. We'll be safer there. 
So it's a long walk. Mm. A little exercise never hurt anybody. Oh. Joe Theismann might disagree with that. <laughs> Franklin Codpiece Company, can I interest you in a codpiece? There used to be more of us in the International Ladies Garment Workers Union. Lady? So wow. Jobs have disappeared. A lot of the clothes Americans are buying for women and kids are imports. Guys, that's the ugliest lady I've ever seen. Uh, I'm yeah. with you. I'm sure she's nice, she's but the sideburns. And pay her taxes and buy the things other Americans make. That's what it means when the label says union. It means kickbacks and secret ballots and bodies buried in end zones. <laughs> I love this tune. <laughs> They're sewing an unending supply of hideous pantsuits, apparently. <laughs> uh, I can get so many chicks with this ruse. <laughs> Tootsie! Yeah. <laughs> you know, I miss shrill union anthems. I wish they'd bring them back. Noopy and Woodstock. Thank you, my dear. I'll give it to my mistress. <laughs> the Star Wars Holiday Special will continue in a moment. Oh, please, no, not on our account. Oh, I don't, I've been jitch enough. Don't, don't worry about it. The Bible. The story of Adam and Eve. Of Cain and Abel. Of Nimrod and Dorcas. I don't know if they're in The Bible, Saturday on CBS at 8, 7 Central and Mountain Time. And next week, the Tibetan Book Tomorrow of the Dead. On CBS, the rich caramel center, lots of fresh roasted peanuts, and a super chocolatey covering. Reggie, the candy they named after me. How come they haven't made a mm. poo holes candy bar yet? Yeah, <laughs> good question. <laughs> Don't worry, son. They can't shoot straight, and they're easy to kill. Would you cover that thing up, Carl? They're children present. This unit is occupied by four Wookiees, two adult males, one adult female, and one male child. It also contains eight to ten badly stained rugs. Uh, you're singing into the fat end of a pool cue. <laughs> Finally, B. <be> Arthur. <laughs> Will I light this guy on fire? No, sir, I will not. Who's the guy he wants you to light on fire? I, don't, I haven't even met the guy. Yeah. This guy came in and started throwing a lot of questions out. <laughs> well, maybe I have a few questions for you, pal, huh? Will you take me higher than the diamonds in this guy, seeing as it was your idea and all, huh? Yeah. So this all happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, right? Yep. So they say, yeah. So there's very little chance of it ever getting close enough to affect us. <laughs> I think we're safe, Bill. <sighs> well, now that gal has no shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No wonder Hell's Angels went after him. <laughs> I can only imagine a bright young band named Spinal Tap was in the audience that day. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, will you kindly do everything in your power to light the sky on fire so this guy will stop wondering? Uh, lighting the sky on fire is on my list of things to do, okay? Good. Thank you. Yeah. Big job, though. Yeah, well, he's... He really wants it to happen. Will you Mike, he's still asking. Let's get to that skylighting there, my friend. I can't, I can't find my matches, Kevin. Um, uh, I'm fresh out, sir. No. You can take me higher than He's really insistent, Mike. For God's sake, if you're not gonna light the sky on fire, could you at least take him higher than the diamonds in the sky? I, I'm not licensed to do that. You're gonna have to tell him no. All right, I'll tell him, but I, I don't think he's gonna like it because he's probably kick him higher than the diamonds in the sky. <laughs> He, he really wants it to happen, Mike. Can you? I can't. They leave now. I guess you're right. That's about all I can do for now. Except get fatter. Well, you find what you're looking for. <laughs> Investigate the upper area. Check for any hey. rebel material. Hey, there'll be no Anything investigating my upper area, pal. With the alliance. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. We don't want to have to hurt anyone. 
Ole. <laughs> That's not what we're here for. I can't always control them. I'm a really bad we manager. Are going to continue our search. Cruiser RS Revenge, Captain Kazan reporting. Huh? We are waiting the return of what Captain the? Han Solo. What the? Honey bunches of oats. I can make contact. Try a lower channel. Falcon, do you copy? Come in, Falcon. <laughs> Huey? But where's Han? That's him hanging upside down. Luke, take R2 with you. Dump him in the East River. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> if something has happened to Captain Solo and Chewbacca is alone, you will need me to interpret. And to mix Cosmos and pick out his ties. Plus, we need to dish over that outfit that Jan had on yesterday. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> We're going in. Are you sure this is the best way, sir? Wouldn't you rather get some toppers and watch Sex in the City? <laughs> I want to know what that is. <laughs> to see if I can locate the Falcon by visual sighting. Maybe it's close by. Hey, John Rivers. Can we talk? <laughs> R2, stand by to fire the ejection pod. And hurry, R2, or we'll be dessert soon. Something like a nice mocha caramel flan. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Don't tase me, bro. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Rubin? I'm not sure. Check Wikipedia to see. Yeah. I'm to trust him so quickly, sir. He's our only chance. And besides, he seems like a friend. Fishing buddy kind of friend or C-3PO kind of friend? <laughs> Was that just B. Arthur's cameo right there? Ooh, they arrived just as Jabba the Hutt flushed his toilet. Snoopy? Merrill and Macula switched from Duncan Hines Deluxe 2 Yellow Cake to Pillsbury Plus Yellow Cake. And she's never eaten slower. And switched. At gunpoint. Millions found out that Pillsbury Plus Yellow Cake with pudding in the mix tastes deliciously moister than Duncan Hines Deluxe 2 Yellow Cake. Which is disgustingly pudding free. <laughs> and I hailed. Pillsbury Plus Yellow Cake, you're just a bite away from a better tasting moister cake. Pillsbury, it's all your family needs to eat. <laughs> Hungry! Ah. Hungry Jack! Want some biscuits before you go camping? 11 inches of snow in Minnesota. Also hard hit parts of Michigan and Wisconsin. This just in, Christmas has been canceled due to sadness caused by the Star Wars Holiday Special. <laughs> Director. Hmm. What's coming on? Monday from the creators of Donnie and Marie, it's like grease on wheels. Funny what passed for selling points back then. <laughs> Starring Kenny Marshall, Stucker Channing. CBS was trying out its new all crappy special strategy. You're on. This is CBS. Wow. Please don't hold it against us. <laughs> Check it, Ruben. To the next 10 weeks. Go! The Wild Geese. The prequel to the Wild Geese holiday special. Now that you've got their trust, they may. Their trust? <laughs> This time we'll get them all. I see why they call you the best you. galaxy. Oh no, what will we do now? Four words, Billy Madison plus Dubich. <laughs> all right. It feels like the cantina sure. band is playing inside my head. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. Well, somebody must know something. Han, all the blood drained to your chin. Says our friend Boba found serum for the talisman virus. It's called Schlitz. And this instruction cassette provided by the manufacturer. Why does Lumpy have a bigger TV than I do? Yeah. An amorphian being. Selecting our brand of mini transmitter. If you assemble it properly, following the instructions I am about to give you, it will provide many years of fun and valuable service. Containing all the tools you'll need. Ah. Twenty years later, this role would have gone to Jar Jar Binks. It looks like this. L like a bag. Got it. <laughs> Try not to rip it open, because it makes a very handy storage case for your tools until you need them again. Pardon me, just gonna have a stroke here and... Okay, there, where were we? Now, this is the first thing you'll need. Insert it in... <laughs> Cut yourself on the sharp edges. Ow. We now pause for a brief moment for Satan to possess him entirely. Did David Lynch guest direct this segment, or...? Circuit. Breaker. 
<laughs> oh, the second big Montana was a bad idea. Ooh. Oh. Well, Nietzsche was right. Dead as a doornail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's done. Yeah. Wow. Must suppress dignity. Now, watch me closely. No, don't do it. He'll eat your soul. And we'll assemble our many transmitters together. Let us work slowly or methodically. <laughs> Better turn our attention to the assembly of the impulse to voice translator. The impulse to voice translator, also known as alcohol. This is Tobor. You want Tobor. If your parents love you, they will buy you Tobor. He's under your control. Yes, that's exactly what Tobor wants you to think. To circle. To proceed forward. To circle. He already circled. To pick up the support module and return, all on your command. Tobor's robot spelled backwards. Tobor, the telesonic robot from Shopper. Shopper is by Tobor spelled backwards. <laughs> Tobor. Wow, it's great to see the mighty boss tones back again. Yeah, and these guys have the same number of hits as the mighty boss tone. Hey. Ah, the giant fly guy is hitting on your wife. It's like an entire band of Paul Schaefer's. <laughs> hey, David. Dalton? No, I don't think. Give me a I'll have one of those. That's a puked-in ashtray. Get back before. Before what? Until now. You know, most people belly up to the bar before they hit on B. Arthur. Long before. Come back soon. I'll be waiting. Though my agent fled the premises long ago. Well, what do you know? It's not every day you see the stupidest thing you've ever seen. There you go, Mr. Affleck. How's Jennifer? All he said was six simple words. Hello, my name is Diego Montoya. <laughs> A man can live as long as I have, through all the ups and downs. Ups? <laughs> Doubt it. I just came in here for a drink. And 12 a drinks later... Uh, uh, Curlman, I... Uh, You're pinching my nads. Kind and, and sweet and, and terribly attractive, but... Compared to Yoda. Ludlow, you're heartless. Thorpe, Thorpe, after all I've done for you. Ah, uh, kiss my head crack. <laughs> Short memory, eh, Thorpe? Short memory! Well, what'd she help him do? Oh, buy his Alzheimer's meds. Don't. I don't believe we've met. I played your mom for seven seasons. Just one more round, friend. Oh, dear. Yes. Then homeward bound, friend. Lot of Lenya? Just one more drop, friend. Um, I can't leave. I'm stuck in the glue trap you set. Go! We may not try. Um, that's a throw pillow, not a customer. friend, look. Little Bugs Bunny ish, isn't she? <laughs> Bouncer's using the Hasselhoff maneuver. I believe that's a reverse Ted Kennedy there. Ah, right. I stand corrected. <laughs> ah, yes, the Pied Piper like appeal of a mannish old crone. <laughs> Is that a tear, friend? In your eye? And if so, why on earth are you crying? <laughs> Puss. Now it's good night, friend. Ah, it's the Nielsen alarm. The ratings have bottomed out. <laughs> we leave at once. Shotgun! Shotgun! Damn it. I'm always late with that. Sue, what's wrong? No, I meant with your face. <laughs> Harsh. But safety concerns me. That's why I use Anison. Hi, I'm Fred, and I begrudgingly night manage the 7-Eleven to pay my alimony. combines that safety with extra strength. More strength than any regular headache tablet. Give me a box and a 40 of OE. That's common sense. Anison combines safety you expect with extra strength you want. Not to be confused with Anakin, the whiny son of Shmee. <gasps> Laura Ingalls Wilder! <laughs> this morning in the middle of an Egg McMuffin. An egg in the Billy Carter for Egg McMuffin. L look, we just came out here to drink and not catch any fish. Leave us alone. Take 89. <sighs> 
Paid for by the Re-Elect McCheese campaign. The Star Wars Holiday Special will continue in a moment. Despite the growing number of protesters outside our office. In the sky on flying high when the girls take it off. And Pam has a great layover. <laughs> it's called innuendo, kids. Ask your parents about it. Ah, oh, the 70s. Board a wild ride with the girls from flying high. Flying high. We don't even have a Wikipedia entry. It's okay, everybody. He's gone. How are you? Han and Chewie, it's a life day miracle. Wonderful. <laughs> Ew. Your son's been doing it. Holla. Save my tail more than a couple. Come, have a raw fish. Oh, I'd love to, but I can't. I got to get back to the Falcon before somebody stumbles across her. Hey, will you look at Lumpy? He's sure grown, huh? Kid eats like a rancor. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Well. Lumpy must never know that I'm his real father, okay? Be careful. Uh, and lay off the eggnog. We don't want a repeat of Life Day 74. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. You forgot to pick up milk, didn't you? This is a general alert. The Grinch has stolen Life Day. This day is for you. We know. Please leave. <laughs> Have a wonderful celebration. And Chewie, I'm sure Han told you, but take it easy on the nog this year. <laughs> and may the force be with you. And now I'm going to use the force to nuke me a hungry man. <laughs> I see a little silhouette of a man. has got a moose, got a moose. Can you do the fun day and go? This has got to be how the Heaven's Gate crowd envision their final moments going down. <laughs> Life Day is brought to you by the following corporate behemoths. <laughs> Girls, I bought a lot of underwear for my man. He was and so he incontinent. Picked through the loom. Surprise, Emma! God, it's grapes and an apple and what the hell is that, tobacco? <laughs> right on, only a dollar thirty. Freddy Boom Boom Washington for Fruit of the Loom. That a girl, Emma. For my men and my money, fruit makes the best. Ah, that wasn't a grape, lady. Yes, I'm too. I was told there'd be an open bar. Uh, oh, no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so coked up. If for some reason, I could go for a 1,400-calorie Cinnabon right now. Huh. R2, my eyes are up here. <laughs> this is it, Mike. They're finally ready to light this guy on fire. <laughs> I'm, I'm still not, I'm not prepared for it. <sighs> Will you please... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chewbacca's lifeless stare. <laughs> Chewbacca, snap out of it. Lumpy's opening up his tow bar. Star Wars, you and your children loved it. Then tonight happened. <laughs> I'm just a weekend photographer. I'm also a weekend dad. Okay. <laughs> because I don't take pictures to impress anybody but myself. And man, are my standards That's low. The way I feel oh. about my wine, too. <laughs> <laughs> I tried others, but I was impressed with Colony's taste. I later realized I'd been drinking my developing fluid. Like wine. The next time, choose a wine with a taste that says, you know. Impress yourself with a taste of Colony. Roaring fire and condescending tone not included. Wow. That was the strangest thing I've ever seen. And I've watched Mulholland Drive backwards and underwater. 